Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes on a busy Thursday evening. We've got uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms moving across New Jersey, back to New York City and Long Island as of about 7 p.m. Eastern time. Also seeing some heavy downpours and a few thunderstorms in parts of upstate New York and on up into New England. And these heavy downpours and showers extend all the way back west across Virginia into Tennessee and now moving into northern Alabama and eventually into north Georgia. This is all part of this very slow moving cold front that needs to push offshore and we're going to have to get through a couple of more waves that are going to develop on this front before we can finally see some improvement and that improvement is going to be coming uh, over the weekend. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst. Their phone number is 631-957-5106. The website is liholidaylighting.com. And also brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town on hardware or uh, on mulch, topsoil, and, of course, hurricane supplies, because that season is upon us. And we have Tropical Storm Elsa, which we're going to get to in a moment. Looking at the satellite, I mean, it's just loaded with moisture here. You can see there's still a lot of clouds going all the way back into Ohio. You have to go into the western Great Lakes before you get into any kind of clearing. That's the dry air that we are waiting for. And that uh, dry air is also going to mean uh, we could say goodbye to the humidity again for a couple of days. Moisture going all the way down into Florida and into parts of the Northwest Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, also seeing some moisture out in the western part of the United States, where, of course, we've had this uh, excessive heat wave that has been going on in the Northwest, getting a little bit of relief from that today in some areas. And again, you see our busy radar with warnings as of seven o'clock right along the immediate coast of New Jersey down into coastal Delaware. Storm Prediction Center still has a severe thunderstorm watch uh, in effect. Uh, that watch will expire uh, in the next hour or so. Uh, and that uh, watch extends from central New Jersey down into eastern Virginia. It's kind of playing out according to plan. We don't really have any severe weather issues for tomorrow. Uh, still in an area of general thunderstorms, but a small area of marginal risk in coastal North and South Carolina. And then after that, severe weather is not going to be an issue as far as the weekend is concerned. Now, in terms of rainfall, these thunderstorms have produced some heavy rains. There could be an additional uh, inch to an inch and a half of rain. And of course, in some of these thunderstorms, could they could quickly produce that amount uh, in a uh, very, very short period of time if they sit right over you. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, moisture out across the Midwest and Ohio Valley. A lot of moisture, though, along the Gulf states and down th through Florida uh, over the next seven days. Starting to see maybe a little bit of influence coming uh, from Tropical Storm Elsa in terms of how this is being viewed uh, in the forecast. So I just want to run through quickly what's going on here. We have this deep upper trough. We're looking at the 18,000 foot level here in the atmosphere. Uh, the upper trough is uh, swinging eastward and it needs to just keep on moving. And the good news is that this, this system, which some models were trying to hold it back for the entire weekend to our west, which would have meant uh, horrible weather for the 4th of July holiday weekend, it is dropping southeastward. It is doing it slowly. This is what it looks like for tomorrow evening. We have to wait for it to pass to the east and get into that northerly flow that is behind it. And that brings down that drier, cooler air. We're going to start to see that uh, come late Saturday or Saturday evening. That system finally moves out into New England. Until then, we're going to have some noise to deal with. And weather noise to deal with, clouds and maybe even some scattered showers as we move through Friday and Saturday. But then Sunday and Monday look very good here, very promising as that trough begins to pull out to the east. And then once it completely pulls out, we're going to be going back to hot and humid weather probably Tuesday into Wednesday. So this is what it looks like the uh, for tomorrow. Let me just roll it back. This is what it looks like this evening. We have this first wave going out uh, during tonight. There'll be downpours and showers overnight into tomorrow morning. And then they'll start to swing to the east offshore by tomorrow morning. 
We still have that upper trough to the west, which is why you see showers scattered around parts of New Jersey, upstate New York, and back into parts of Pennsylvania. It's not a continuous rain. It's going to be a matter of where these showers show up on the radar. And here comes the last wave that develops Friday night uh, off the uh, Delaware coast and moves out to the northeast on Saturday. Still a chance that there could be some showers around on Saturday because that upper trough is going to be hanging by. But then the low and the upper trough pull out to the east. It dries out. Weather conditions improve for Sunday. I think we'll have sunshine on Sunday. And we'll throw in maybe that there's the chance of a brief inland shower or a thunder shower. And then on Monday, we're looking at what should be a, a nice day of uh, partly to mostly sunny skies. And as far as temperatures are concerned, uh, we'll start with uh, Friday. And we're looking at temperatures tomorrow that are going to be generally in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees uh, until we can get this system to push out further to the east. Then on Saturday, with the low to the east, if you're up in uh, southern New England and southeastern New England, we're looking at temperatures mostly in the 60s from New York City south and west to Philadelphia, Harrisburg, uh, down to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. We're looking at temperatures that will be mainly in the 70s. The further south you go on Saturday, uh, the better chance you'll have of seeing some sunshine. The further northeast you go, uh, the better chance that you're going to be dealing with a lot of leftover clouds. But by Sunday, I think everybody should be partly to mostly sunny. Looking at temperatures on Sunday, that'll be generally in the 70s to around 80. The dew points on Saturday and Sunday are going to be very low. Uh, they're going to be down in the upper 40s and low 50s, so it's going to be extremely comfortable. And even on Monday, as we warm back up into the middle and upper 80s, we're still going to hold on to a little bit of that dry air. The humidity is going to come up, but it's not going to uh, go all the way up to 70. It'll probably be in the low and middle 60s at worst. So it'll be, let's call it, slightly uncomfortable to moderately comfortable, depending on where you're located. And then as we move on to Tuesday, uh, we'll be back up in the low and mid 90s with high dew points again, and it will be very uncomfortable. And it'll probably hang around into Wednesday as the next weather front begins to move on through. Tropical storm Elsa, uh, it's very unusual to have a tropical storm in this position out in the tropical Atlantic at this time of year. Uh, a few weeks from now, it probably wouldn't have been, it, it's not unusual, but for some reason, we're seeing the tropical Atlantic being relatively busy very early in the season with tropical waves all over the place. And Elsa is moving very quickly, moving to the west, northwest at about 27, 28 miles an hour. That poses a forecast problem because when they're moving that fast, sometimes the low level center can separate from the mid and upper level circulation. And that inhibits strengthening. And in fact, it could even cause weakening if that separation is complete and a low level center just completely separates from where all the convection is so it's going to need to slow down some in order to organize and the first threat here is going to be for the leeward islands you see tropical storm warnings that are up uh, for the uh, central part the, the middle part of the islands here in the antilles and in, in the lesser antilles and the track from the hurricane center is a general west northwest track coming very close to Haiti, where there's a tropical storm watch up uh, for uh, late Saturday and Sunday. And notice it moves very quickly from where it is to where it's supposed to be by Sunday morning. And by Monday afternoon, it's forecast to be in western Cuba. And after that, it may go into the Gulf of Mexico, according to the Hurricane Center's official forecast. It's at 11.2 north, 53.8 west. Top winds are 45 miles an hour, moving west-northwest at 29. So We'll just have to watch and wait to see if this thing starts to slow down. Uh, if it slows down, it has a, a higher chance of it st uh, of staying together and perhaps uh, organizing and strengthening a bit as it moves through the Caribbean. And then we'll have to also see how it interacts with the land masses as far as the uh, island of His Hispaniola and when it gets close to Cuba because those islands are mountainous and that can tend to disrupt the circulation. So we'll be watching that over the 4th of July holiday weekend. Weather in 5, which went a little longer today, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125. And the website is 
OmniTrueValue.com and Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. When it comes time for the holidays, you might want your home decorated or maybe you want to do this as a business. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106 and the website liholidaylighting.com. The, uh, Joe, the Joe and Joe Weather Show is taking a break for the next five days, so we won't be back until uh, Tuesday unless the uh, uh, tropics, unless Tropical Storm Elsa becomes a bigger issue, in which case we may sneak a show on. And I'm going to try to keep things updated by uh, doing Weather in 5 uh, through the holiday weekend and into next week. So have a, a, a great Thursday night. And hopefully you're going to prepare yourself for a safe and enjoyable 4th of July holiday weekend. We will uh, see you later.